Eric Moavith, Mother.com, with a weekend market analysis for the weekend of January 12th and January 13th, 2019. Let's take a look at markets here with about less than one hour to go before the close of Friday session. And of course, this is how markets are trading right now on what has been a slightly, slightly down day. All right, let's take a look at the charts here. And this is the S&P 500. And we are using a five minute chart. What I want to discuss here is if you go back, let's say from around the 9th, so pretty much for the entire week, we've been in this range. Pretty much net net for the week. Market's been held up here over the last couple of days. Ultimately, the next major direction is going to come either by the market breaking out above that range to begin another up leg or breaking down below this range for the market to record some type of a pullback. So pretty much stuck in this box, the next major trend is going to be determined by how we move out above or below this box or trading range. Now going into an options expiration week, this kind of makes sense where we can expect some expansion in volatility due to the options expiration coming up in the new week. We can also see that the market is coming to an area of trying to determine the next swing trade because even the RSI is giving us a wedge. And again, here we also see that either we're going to break out above this wedge for a continued move higher or the market breaks below this wedge where that would be indicating that the next major swing trade on a short-term basis is going to be to the downside. So from this chart, we can see a lot of indecision for the last couple of days and the RSI also confirming that the market is, from a sentiment standpoint, also range-bound movement above or below this box or below and above this wedge is going to determine the next major swing trade direction. Take a look at the NASDAQ and we've been watching this level here for a potential recovery based on this movement coming off the 2016 lows where the market responded by coming off the lows of early February 2016 and we would go into a fantastic bull run. So if we take this RSI movement here we can draw our uniformity support line and we can see that as of October 2018 and November and now January and late December the market has hit that line three times each time bouncing back above that line with uniform action which is exactly what the bulls wanted to see and what this means is that maybe this lows here are gonna hold for now. One of the problems facing the market in terms of upward momentum is the fact that we have the moving averages pretty much net net on the weekly pointing down. Generally you can see that it would need the moving averages pointing up for there to be this type of an upward trend. So right now we have the moving averages pointing down so net net there's some work this market is gonna to have to do to continue building on the recent recovery. And in fact, if we take a look at the MACDs, and I pointed this out, I believe in the last weekend edition, as long as both MACDs are trading below zero, we can assume that the market has a, a lot of work to do. In other words, we might still have a market that even at best is gonna be sideways. Why? Because the MACDs are both trading below zero Hence, there is no strong upward momentum and giving back gains is actually very easy in this type of a phase where both MACDs are trading below zero. And the fact that this is a weekly chart means that this is not day to day, but in other words, as far as week to week market behavior is concerned. Take a look at the daily for the NASDAQ and we can all see what the market is trying to do here coming back to test the 50-day moving average. The last time it was there was here. And of course, we had a rejection of the prices. 
and the last time when the market was trading above the 50 prior to that was here and we sliced through that period so clearly if the market is unable to capture the 50-day moving average we are looking at a retest of some of these daily closing lows and if the market really has intent to go higher bulls want to see the market reclaim the level back above the 50-day moving average now keep in mind net net again we see that the 50-day moving average is pointing down which tends to be suggestive of a market that still has a lot of downside potential for example here we can see the market was showing an upward sloping 50-day moving average general direction general direction was higher here we have a flat 50-day moving average the market generally was stuck in a range you can even see this range here and then we went into an upward sloping 50-day moving average and the market also had an upward bias so right now the 50 days pointing down net net it means there's a lot of work the bulls need to do to push this market beyond the current recovery now also on the daily here based on my uniformity method and i should have an introduction into this method take a look at the at the links i'll provide in the playlist of this video but we can see that there was a break of the rsi here corresponding with the nasdaq coming off those highs so using the uniformity method we draw our uniformity line And this line has been instrumental in giving us sell signals here, which was there. A sell signal here, which is this period. And now we are showing some retest of this and rejection on this line. In other words, the more we are rejected on this line, the more it means that we are going to have to test some of this recent lows either this daily closing low or this daily closing low now if the market was to move higher it would first and foremost need to move above the red line so that's what we are watching for any movement above the red line to suggest a market a market that wants to go higher otherwise as of right now this is starting to look like resistance suggesting that in the short term the nasdaq is looking to test movement to the downside at least for a swing trade take a look here the nasdaq and what we can consider is the two hourly now so two hourly for the nasdaq and let's take a look at this area around the 61.8 on the two hourly rsi and i'll just draw a line like that and what this area gives us is this rejection area here which gave us the top at the beginning of december and we've hit this line a couple of times so we know that if this is where it is rejected if this continues coiling down then this suggests the next meaningful direction is down if the market is to go higher then it would have to clear the red line really that's as simple as it can get if we test the red line and go backwards something like that you can see it makes contact with this area here which happens to be the high at the beginning of october if we go backwards even more we get the break which corresponds with this high right there in other words this red line this area has been instrumental in giving us some of the reversal areas as far as the nasdaq and the general market is concerned going back a couple of months and right now the market is coming back to test that level what happens around here will determine the next meaningful swing trade now that concludes the free portion of this video the rest of the video is for paid moati.com subscribers where we are going to be taking a look at other general markets some 
world market ETFs and also take a look at commodities, Ripple, and take a look at Bitcoin. Otherwise, enjoy the rest of your weekend. For Mwade.com subscribers, let's continue on. <music>